<laughs> now, listen, this this is for the boys mainly at the A-team reserve, but for you guys as well. It is well known in the Melbourne media world um, that there's been a long-running ego-off happening to assume the title of the, which I think is the low-ranking title, of the number one journo in town. I think oh. you know where I'm going, Damo. Yes. Oh, hello. <laughs> All sorts of smelly behaviour has been going on between these two guys. That's you, Damo, and this other person. And uh, you're even born in the same building, I believe. But even though the... the, the, the <laughs> The, the platform of which you are trying to get on top of and be the number one of has diminished because of social media. Your your behaviour uh, still continues. You, you refuse to acknowledge each other when you see each other. You refuse to talk about each other. You refuse to shake hands. You you refuse to uh, all sorts of things. What are you saying? You actually hate each other. Now, on <laughs> a podcast the other day, I heard... I'm about to play it to you. Right. Hutchie, I think it's called The Sounding Board. Are you on that? Yeah, I'm on that. Very on high that. raking and rating. Uh, rating. Ask PT, yeah. And uh, Damo, you know, he aspires oh, to being the number one man in town. Yes. And uh, this other guy uh, happened to appear on the uh, same show, and he also aspires to be the number one oh. uh, Hello. in town. No one really cares, but they're fighting over the number one thing to try and <laughs> uh, not? be number yes. one. We do very Hello. different things. So on the podcast the other day, there was finally a dummy spit because... Ooh. Because the other potential number one man, Ooh. Mark Robinson, yeah. uh, had this had this to say. Have a listen. Last question on all that. I I also heard uh, Robbo mention that his story on Kane Corns and Kate Jezelinko wouldn't be run because it was only further building Kane Corns. In fact, he, here's what he had to say. Kane's a um, pretty outspoken media commentator. Um, and he says something quite challenging or disruptive or, you know, critical most days. So I've heard that fascinating. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you playing that voice on this show? It was a way into a discussion and argument on, on this exact topic. So that was on the You Can't Be Serious podcast. Look, Serious be, podcast. I might, we've never done this. I might edit that out after this. I don't want that voice on this show. Damo. I choose not to listen to what he says, Hutchie. And the journalistic- particularly, it's valid when you hear rubbish like that. Kane Corns has genuine cut through, something that he clearly is jealous don't, of. Don't worry, not, let's not get personal. Yeah, oh, personal. Is that, a, is that a dummy spit that by is, Damo? That's oh. unlike you, Damo, because you're very measured. It's a bit of theatre, Bill, on a, on a podcast. What? You're actually a bit of humour and a bit of theatre. I don't think it was theatre. <laughs> I know. It's a it dummy was, spit, yeah. Damo. And very unlike what you. What were you told, B2? Yeah. So what is it, the, the status between you and... Yeah. Uh, Robo. Robo. It, Bill, why are you both? I, I don't want to talk about him. Why are you both? You know, can't you both be number one? <laughs> why why is it that you both only we, one we, can we get there? We just don't like each other. BT. Why can't you both like, stand up? Unlike there? unlike a lot of relationships in footy, there's it's probably more genuine than most because we're open about. What has he it. done to you? Oh, I tell you we what, we just happened. don't like each other. But, but unlike, him, what I has he done to you? I heard him done say, Damo, he's, he's never written an article about you, or that you didn't get the number one job at the Herald Sun. Yeah, that's ah. Now this we're is talking. to the heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Ooh. Damo, I, I, don't just say it all. Just I, I left the Herald Sun yeah, two years no. before. I'll ask you like a question. Gave it up. I'll ask you a question. You say yeah or no, okay? Ouch. Yeah. You didn't get the number one job at the Herald Sun. Because Ooh. I chose to no, leave no, no, the no, building. No, 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 wait, 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 Rick Ouch. Darling. Ouch. <laughs> Rick Darling. <laughs> you didn't get the job, so you cracked the shits and you left. And then Robbo got it. Yeah, Do you want yeah. the timeline, Bill? I left two years before no, I'd seen finished. No, but you were heading there. And, uh, no, no, no. I never why is it, it you had you such a great but... relationship with Mike Sheehan, yeah. Yeah. but then not with Robbo? Like, they're both the same job. Yeah. I mean, why couldn't you both get on? You don't like everyone you come across. You what know, was that line you said a couple of years ago? Can you repeat no, that? No, 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 no. We don't need to go there. I, I don't think people even care for what Mark Robinson and I think of each other. So I don't know why we're but talking about well, think That's true. Players don't get on. When you yeah, at least we're open about it, Duck. A lot of people yeah. in this room even have relationships with yeah. people that they that they're very different to the way they play them out Did publicly. Did you get yeah. on you, with I, at, at North? What? No, I got along. Did with you that, dislike who, who, any players? Who no. didn't you get on with? I got along Is with there one everyone. person in your career from any walk of life yeah. that you didn't get on with that I, you're prepared to say? I've had my battles with people in the media who? for obvious reasons. Who was the one that you really? Well, I've had I've had heaps. Damo, of battles. Life. you know what I've I've, I've learned at over the level that Damo and Robbo. You just you know what? Just be nice. 
Yeah. I, just I, be polite. Yeah. <laughs> just don't hold grudges. See, I adopted that if as I well. To hold, if I was to hold a grudge, <laughs> BT, I wouldn't talk to anyone. They used to, write, <laughs> used to write bad stuff on me, and I thought, no, I'll just go along with it. What did they I'll write just, about you? Eventually, they'll write something nice. And you know what? Well, they, <laughs> what did they write about you, Just Brian? that I couldn't play and all that sort of thing, but that's okay. You just wrote a whole book about giving up the whole team in a premiership winning season, BT. Yeah, sold well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, anyway, we're, <laughs> my um, the, the bit I liked most in that exchange was you talking about the sounding board. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, purple, you're talking about it being a, a high rating podcast, high, high ranking. <laughs> Got some numbers. I yet. think we're <laughs> making sure of that. Or yeah. <laughs> 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 BT, I will say. Is there a way of that being pretty much guaranteed? When people are really Genuine critical. Genuine numbers, Jim. Oh. When people are scathing oh, and really critical of other people, it says more about them than it does. Ooh. Oh, listen to Duck. Oh, the world really? according to Duck, who's blown up more Duck. relationships You'll and grab blokes more by the throat. issues and football clubs than anyone. This this anger that oh. you're giving to me now. Oh. Oh. Where's it coming oh. from? That it's story you're, at the Herald Sun you know, when they had 36 <laughs> pots on the front. Who wrote that? that well, that's more about them. It's 43 pots. Me. 43 <laughs> pots. Who wrote that's, that? That's though? more about them. <laughs> that was the best. That's more about them. That front page. They wanted to sell some Ducks stepped into a landmine area. They wanted to sell some papers, so it's about about them. <laughs> pot, 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 pot. So, and pot, when you pot. when you attack me in that manner, Ooh. aggressive manner. <laughs> Why? Um, are, you, are you doing Buddhism? That is, that yeah. is more about Listen you. Listen to you, Tom. What's wrong with you? That's going on. Kumbaya. Kumbaya. Get him out of isolation. <laughs> Get him. He's turned into something completely. What's happened to him? <laughs> we need our man back. I tell you what's coming up today. Brett Ratton next is going to join us. Coach of the Saints and Love Rats, of course. Uh, Duck says he's got... The great George Foreman. We're going to wait oh. and see. And then uh, I think some investigative work there from Purple coming up later, and it might be to do with Fat, the quiz. And then Maddie Scarlett, the great Maddie Scarlett, to talk about the 09 Grand Final, oh. which follows this show today. For Hard Yakka, you're listening to the Triple M Saturday Rub. And for McDonald's, Triple M Rocks Footy.